Hello everyone. Okay, so let's talk about while loops. Because sometimes as programmers, we may want to do stuff over and over again. For example, if you wanted to write a program that tells yourself that you are the best programmer in the world, let's say 10 times or 20 times. Now, you can, there's one way you can do it. You can you call the print function and you can say that I am the best programmer in the world. Now, this is not me. This is you. You are the best programmer in the world. You can do that. This is going to print out one message. If you wanted to print it out 10 times, one option you have is to copy this and paste it 10 times, right? And run the program and it's going to do that. Now, what if you wanted to display it 100 times? You still have to copy it. That's too much work. Sometimes, as programmers, we may want to do stuff like this. We may want to write a program that displays something 100 times or 1,000 times. And doing, the, doing it this way is tedious. And so there are things called, or there are structures called uh, repetition structures in programming that allow us to do this, allow us to run our code or run one or more lines of code multiple times uh, based on how many times we want. Now there are two types, and in this video we're going to look at the first one, which is called a while loop. Okay, we can use loops, okay, to do this. We're going to look at a while loop, and it's actually spelled this way, while, the English word while. Just add while loops here. All right, so if I wanted to, let's clear this, if I wanted to display that same message 10 times, I'm, I'm the best programmer in the world without having to copy and paste 10 times, I'm going to start with a while loop. Now, a while loop is what's called a condition controlled loop because it does whatever you give it, it executes whatever you give it over and over again based on whether. Okay, what's in you know the while clause, basically the while header, what's here if I was to true. So I'm going to declare a number here, up here, and I'm number I'm going to set it equal to one. And I'm going to say while the number is less than ten. Okay, while it's less than ten, I'm going to say print out the message saying that I am oops, the best programmer and uh, well again it's not me you <laughs> all right so a while loop is a condition controlled loop okay it's going to keep executing this line it doesn't have to be one line it can be multiple lines it's going to keep executing what's in its body what based on whether what in the while clause okay, the while clause header or the header is, is equal to true if number is less than 10 number is one one is less than 10 it's going to go ahead and execute this and then it's going to come back around and check again is this still true is number still less than 10 if it's true it's going to keep executing it's going to keep executing as long as number is less than 10 so i'm sure some of you have noticed the problem over here um, but before i before we go on with that so while loops also follow the same indentation rules of if statements Right. If you have one line of code and you've indented, let's say, four spaces, in this case I have four spaces, one, two, three, four. If you wanted to have multiple lines, I'm going to make a copy of this line and paste it. They all have to you know, f f um, be in line. They all have to be in line. Um, we're all indented four spaces. Make sure you don't do something like this. You know, or you can don't do like two lines here. Make sure they're all indented. This is going to give you an error. Anyway, let's go back to one line of code because we don't want to copy, right? We just want to use our while loop to run this as long as what's in the while, while clause header is equal to true, as long as number is less than 10. So again, it's going to check to see if this is true. Number is one, is one less than 10? Yes, if it's true, it's going to just run this. And it's going to come back up and check again, is it still true? And it's going to run it again. As long as this is true, it's going to keep running. So again, I'm sure some of you have found out what's going to happen here. It's going to keep doing it. When I run the program, you can see that it's displaying it. Actually, if you look over here, you can see it's still displaying. So this program basically won't stop, right? Because every time it comes up here, it's checking. Is number less than 10? Yes, it displays it. Is number less than 10? While loop is a condition control loop, it ch it's going to execute whatever you place in its body based on whether the header over here, the Boolean expression here results to true. So there's a problem over here though. This program keeps running, which means that we have to figure out a way to stop this program at some point. In this case, we just wanted to display this 10 times, but now it's displaying it like a million times. Actually, it's going to keep going until your computer runs out of memory. 
So we have to figure out a way to stop this. This is actually called an infinite loop. And in the next video, I'm going to talk more about it. But this is basically the syntax and an idea of while loops. Um, this is one type of repetition structure. We'll talk more about the other ones. So it's going to execute as long as what's in the header here. It's true. And you can see it's still going. It's going to keep doing it because every time number is less than 10. Number is 1, 1 is less than 10. That's always true. Okay, so I'm going to stop this. The only time, I, I want to mention this too, the only time this is going to stop is if it checks, if it comes back after displaying this message, if it comes back after and, and check, and the Boolean expression results to false, then it's going to stop, right? In that case, if it's false, it's not going to even run it. It's going to jump out of the while loop and continue with anything below, okay? That's the only time it's going to stop. So we'll talk more about infinite loops in the next video, uh, but this is all about uh, while loops. Uh, we'll talk more about it. So if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. I'm going to go ahead and stop this program just so my computer doesn't just explode on me. It's not going to explode anyway. That's just a joke. But you're going to definitely, you know, lose resources, you know, um, yes, yeah, yeah, so you're going to lose resources. Anyway, if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time in the next video. All right then. Bye-bye.